Welcome to Vivid Vibe. I am Chocolate, and in my special guest tonight is Vanilla. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't expect that. No, it's Jason. Vanilla Bean was my stage name. Vanilla Bean. Mm -hmm. You make me want some Starbucks. Ooh, sexy. And did you bring me to? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. And I'm your lovely host, Miss Lovely Chanel. And to my left, I have the lovely beauty over there, Miss Misha. Hello, hello. And I have the <laughs> handsome ransom, Dale, to my right. What's going on, people? Okay. She gave you a. She gave you a. That's show. been it. She finally right. said it correctly. Right. Most of the time, she messed up on the second part. She's like, oh, it's Dale. Oh, That's when she's mad at me. <laughs> <It's Dale. laughs> <laughs> but I'm in a good mood tonight. I see that. Mm -hmm. I am a good mood because, you know, I stepped in white heaven today since mm -hmm. I walked in. Did you know? Yes. <laughs> Jason, <laughs> a.k.a. Jesus. <laughs> That's a first. All right. All right. You'll Where take you that? At? You'll it take won't, that? Won't, Ooh, that. <laughs> Let me stop before I get beat up. <laughs> That's... <laughs> <laughs> What's vibing? <laughs> Please tell us. What's vibing? So, who, I know y'all some sports fan around. You a sports mm -hmm. fan? Absolutely. Uh, what kind of sports you into? Well, I'm originally from Pittsburgh, so still hockey. Oh, oh my I bad. do like hockey. I know. <laughs> I like hockey. I know. I know all y'all yeah. do. So, what? Y'all. <laughs> wow. Oh. Whoa, you use people. <laughs> what do you mean, what? use people? <laughs> what do you mean, use people? Here we people? go. <laughs> it's about to start. Oh we God. just got on here. And right? We <laughs> missed it with Jake, and then here yeah. it go. Mm -hmm. Black power. Nah, so <laughs> guess what's going on this weekend, y'all? What? Super Bowl Sunday, yeah. Super Bowl Sunday. Come on, Patriots. Oh, Woo! No, I was really hoping that wasn't coming Woo, out. Woo, Patriots. Really hoping that wasn't coming out. Rams. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Tom no. Brady is old I'm with the Rams on this one. Yeah, I'm with the Rams. Rams? Rams, Rams. on this one. Mainly the Steelers Rams. got six rings. I definitely don't want the Patriots to have. So. Man, Patriots going to win. They going to you know, do some, some tricks up <laughs> their sleeves. <laughs> Allegedly. <But laughs> they going to do some tricks up their sleeves like they did to get to this damn Super Bowl. Oh, the Rams? No, the Two Patriots. Cheaters Rams. Against each other. That's Two cheaters. cheaters. That's not tricks. If you're not. If <laughs> that's the best relationship. Y'all cheat, both cheat. Trying. This is an open relationship. What? What the fuck? Hey. Yeah. Um, hopefully first no. Hopefully no deflate gate. Hopefully no deflate gate this time. We said two cheaters. I don't know. This is open relationship. So continue this. I get it. So. Have y'all seen the commercials of the Super Bowl? No. I know they're going to be playing all over. What's going on? I've only seen one. The Stella. Really? Stella Art Is it? Uh, I haven't seen any. Yeah. Art yeah, I don't know. Stella Artois? Yeah. Artois. Artois. Well, yeah. I saw the, de 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 deodorant. De <laughs> the, uh, what them chips called? Doritos. Doritos. Yeah. How'd you go from deodorant to Doritos? <laughs> right? Where do you get that from? <laughs> so I saw the what Dorito commercial. <laughs> they have <laughs> Backstreet <laughs> and Chance the Rapper. Have you heard it? No. It's got like a mm -hmm. bounce music to it. Like a New Orleans. Here well, we go. They made the original hot, hot, hot. Ah, watch it. Watch it. These guys are like I know, right? Hello. They still look good. Oh, though. look at that. Oh. I've all kids. Oh, look at them chocolate. Kevin was my favorite. Oh, look at that. You kids yes. on the block are making a yes. comeback now, they too. Are. I see now. Look at that whiteness. Oh, mm. Mm. Any of y'all watch The Masked Singer? Now oh, I saw that last mm -hmm. night for the first time. We was all now, the rabbit. The There's one of them that's the rabbit. Hold on. I think it's Joey Fatone. Mm. Hold on. We see Dale face. 
What and the going f- to the back. <laughs> did we just watch? <laughs> that was the commercial for the deodorant. That, <laughs> that is <laughs> by far the worst Dorito commercial I've ever but seen. But don't he sound like Lil Wayne? Yeah, he did. Mm-hmm. It's, what back the back fuck back did he back even back say? Back like, back I know, right? It was that bounce music for the New Orleans. But you know, the face didn't go, so that's like a little... Yeah, I'm... Whatever. Mm-hmm. And the next right, one on we have will be Cardi with Pepsi. Let's see how this oh, goes. Oh, no, I did see the, that one. The commercials Pepsi been going okay. downhill the last few years. Yeah, yeah. Man, they really okay. Have. He's a shooting star, okay? He is not he's the laughter of small child. Yes. Okay. He, you said he's not funny? Is it because he's white, Dale? So you're confused. Let's role play. Now. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm Steve. I'm an actor. No, no, no. Just order something. Uh, I'll have... You will have a nice cold glass of the best thing you ever tasted. Okay. Okay. I think you might be just saying it wrong. You gotta say it with pride, okay? Okay. I'm I'm proud. Oh yeah, kind of. Pepsi's more than okay. It's okay. Oh no. Okay. I'm not even watching this. Super Bowl this year. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What have we learned today? I, want a Pepsi? I, want a I like it. She yeah, wants a Pepsi. There you go. Okay, I see what they're doing. Anchorman. Anchorman. John. Hello. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh loud noises! <laughs> the office I've got to come up with my own catchphrase. Okay! Okay! <laughs> okay! I don't know. Oh, crap! I don't no, know how to oh, do a show. Who's the halftime show this year? Um, Maroon 5 and um, mm. Travis Scott. I like that, that, That'll work out. Oh. What happened? What happened? Whoops. Uh, what happened? Look, what forgot happened? my mic was on, so probably said some foul shit while the commercial was going. Oh well, mm-hmm. what were we talking about? What was I saying? What did I say? What we say? You say anything bad though? I probably don't. Uh, what did I say? Oh, <laughs> I said I see what they're doing. What, what do they mean? What do you mean when you see what they're doing? You don't they see the togetherness. Oh, how the, the black? black and whites are together. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Car- they try to stop it. They try to the, forget the you didn't catch that. No, look at yeah, this Oreo cookie no, no, no. right here. The NFL <laughs> is yeah. trying to promote look, this. And there's some milk. There's some milk over there. Element <laughs> of <laughs> togetherness. My bad, Jake. They've I'm never sorry. Never done Jake. commercials like that. Never. Uh-uh, Those commercials have never been that in, that mm-hmm. uh, interracial. Change, Dale. Cut the shit. <laughs> Shout Man, out to I'm Layla. Thank you for for shouting us out. <laughs> not buying it. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? I, I'm, I'm over there. So, oh, you know, oh boy from... <clears throat> hold on, I can... Mike told me about my mic. So, you heard about old mic. boy from Empire, Jamal. You mm. know, that he got beat up. Mm. Come out of Subway. Where's it come out of Subway? Like the train or the Subway the store? Subway train. The train? Okay, my bad. But two two in the morning. Yeah, yeah. That I'm trying to figure out why he was by himself. But go ahead. But it, no, he mm, was with some friends, point. I think. And he got beat that damn bad. You uh, got to find new friends. <laughs> <laughs> that don't mean shit. <laughs> Crickets. Right. <laughs> Crickets. <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, it's not funny, y'all. Dale made me laugh, but. That's sad. Mm-hmm. This world is still like that. We mm-hmm. mean still. I mean, it hasn't changed. We have. <laughs> I'm sorry. Nothing's changed. Mm-mm. I let's not use still. Oh my God! I can't believe this is going on. Dad, I had to relate Nothing to something because I, I don't changed. Know. Mm-hmm. Nothing has changed. Right. It's I just really a new don't. form. That's it. It's just a new new hey, type there of it. Is. Nope. It's, it's just still the same. being more Careful. visual. You can see. The abuse now. It's not like oh it happened hearsay. Mm-hmm. Now if you fuck somebody up, it's a camera somewhere. Somebody always on their phone. Somebody always recording. So mm-hmm. there's nothing different. So what happened was he came out subway, just chilling, his villain, you know, just in the middle of two o'clock in the morning. I don't know where he was going. Mm-hmm. And then some guys came up and was like, "Hey, are you that that nigga from Empire? That no, the what's that? The faggot." From Empire. I was going to say it. This was all. Uh, oh, excuse all, uh, my language, y'all. They said mm-hmm. faggot. Homosexual yeah. assault type thing. Yes. Mm-hmm. And they beat him up really bad mm-hmm. due to his character. Man, we haven't, I haven't, they haven't seen it. So is, is he, is he really gay or is he just gay on TV? No, he is gay. Oh, he is gay. gay. Real he I just found that out. Yeah. No, he's gay I was gay today life. years old when I found out. He was like. <laughs> I, I, think he I came literally out thought he was just <laughs> acting gay. No, I he never came knew out he was. 2015. So I'm sorry. No, I was today he, um, years old. Yeah, like he went on the Ellen show. Yeah. And Good he even person. said like, 
um, in my house, you know, I have closets. So I'm not in the closet. Like, yeah. So he really came out in 2015. No, really that's that's why he plays character so good on Empire. Because he's himself. Yes. Okay. And what Michael Michael S. Davis said, he's right. It just said it just says ain't nobody safe, money or no money. Absolutely. So, but it's been that way. Like right. I said, it's just more visual. Yes. Mm-hmm. You can't really lie about it. I know. So our prayers go out to him. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And also our prayers go out to one of our family members, Boom Bap. Um, oh, yeah. Kareem, Kareem. Sean. If his last name is Sean, right? Yeah, Tillman. Kareem. Tillman. My, a buddy, I go my by close friend of mine, yes. actually. Yeah. Uh, he lost his nephew. I actually found out it was his nephew. I thought past, his brother. Uh, you know, everybody brothers. Yeah. Yeah, week or so, and yes. if I'm not mistaken, yeah. it was suicide. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately. So he decided yeah. to take his life. I'm not sure what's going on or why he did it. I haven't talked to Kareem. I kind of like mm-hmm. giving him space at this particular moment. Yes. And, uh, you know, if anybody from Boom Bap or him or his family need anything from us, they have our full on support. That's our family. Mm-hmm. That's the show before us. But we yeah. all. We love you, Kareem. We yeah. are here. We here for you. Mm-hmm. And something else. I didn't post this in what's, hap- what's happening. What's vibing? <laughs> Do, 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 do. No, that's a whole different theme song. <laughs> anyway, have y'all heard about the Beyonce and Jay Z thing? Like, if you go vegan, you can win a lifetime concert tickets. If you go vegan, yes. Uh uh-uh. uh. They're on yes. this vegan. They're on this vegan trip I already trip signed now. up. I'm already vegan, mm-hmm. y'all. Do I get sued if I walk off the show? What? I'm just asking. Because I said Beyonce. <laughs> no, I'm asking a question. Because I said vegan. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just asking like. <laughs> Is that, br- is that breaching my contract if I just... <laughs> Hold on. If it breaching your contract, <laughs> I slap the shit out of you? Oh, <laughs> oh I was just checking. Okay. All right. okay. Oh, y'all got that on mic? Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm just saying, y'all, you're not going to go vegan to see Beyonce and Jay? No. Uh, will you go vegan? I've never no. went to... You, go, you know how much those tickets cost? Go you go, like, on their website, well, on their website, you don't have to go at all the way vegan. It's like you can replace two meals with plants, or you can just do meatless Mondays. Tupac could no come meat. back from the dead, and I'm still going to eat bacon. Uh uh-uh. uh, that was a, <laughs> that was a good one. It was like out of nowhere, but I'm, I, know, I right. agree with the bacon with, concept. Yeah. Tupac, yeah. I love Tupac bacon. come back. I don't what? care. Tupac it's already back. He just in Africa. Toy, so oh, right. here we go. <laughs> toy, you are right. He does not. He doesn't like like Beyonce. Well, he don't like I Beyonce. Do, oh my God, I'm tired of defending myself on this show about that shit. Beyonce, I do not is have God. a problem with my fellow Houstonian. I am proud of her. <laughs> Kudos to her. <laughs> but I just don't see the purpose of spending three hundred and fifty dollars to do what? <laughs> Nick says, if I go vegan and relapse on some Popeyes, they're gonna revoke my, <laughs> <laughs> my concert tickets. <laughs> That's true. Like, how you go? For, how do you even know that the person's vegan? Right? Like, she just put more. She's trying to get her money. <laughs> she, she put needs my, more. <laughs> She yeah, just they probably have dollars right, together. They, what the they fuck? They probably have twins. They hungry. <laughs> they probably they have hungry. private yeah. eyes looking. Her kids, yeah, how, kids, how kids are that? set. Like Beyonce being. <laughs> you know what? You know what they trying to do? Wealthy by twenty one. Like you know what they trying to do? They trying to um do that uh <laughs> persistence. Oh, got there you it. Go. <laughs> 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 oh, it's persistence. <laughs> no. It, Persistence? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Persistence. They persistence in some what they keep doing. <laughs> they want people to keep going mm-hmm. vegan, eat healthy, like how Michelle Obama wanted these kids in the school to mm-hmm. stop being fat. That's persistence. Jay-Z need to eat better. You see him on that jet ski a couple yeah, months Yeah, he kind of he kind of need Jesus on his, his loose skin. <laughs> what the fuck just you didn't see a picture? What mm. just happened? I just got into the topic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we. Oh, that's what we jumping into. Yes. Uh, oh, wow. She, she I, that. Before we jump into the topic, let our guests find out who Jason is. Oh shit! I'm and God, I thought he was just a regular Jason, person. Allow him to speak for a while and tell people about himself and what's going on. Sorry, mm-hmm. Jason. Is this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This where I talk. Yeah, this is where you talk, buddy. All right. Do I do I need to move? Nah. No, you good. <laughs> no, nah, we, we good. Need to, no. <laughs> well, I'm Jason. I'm the uh, general manager at 1886 Humble Backyard, uh, up 59 in Beltway. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, God. Oh, let me help you out. Yeah, this is Jason. I, He's the GM at 
1886 Humble Backyard. It was the bar we had. Uh, backyard. We, we, we had the we, toy drive yeah, there. We had the toy yeah, drive yeah, there. Yeah, the toy so drive. Was, uh, awesome. I've been there for actually going on three years. I took over as GM probably last year. Yeah. Buku money now, huh? It, it's getting there. Yeah. yeah it's getting there. So I ain't no gold digger. The more builds up, right. the more they throw my way. Right. Exactly. So. Tell everybody about your uh, production company. Was it Bayou Brothers? Bayou Brothers Bayou Brothers. Productions. Yeah. Uh, me and Jake actually started that probably, what, about two years ago? Uh, when Jake we, was a previous guest on the show. When, yeah. We, uh, we didn't have any money when we started. I think, actually, I paid him for all the uh, <laughs> designing the flyer and everything like that. I paid him with concert tickets and a bottle of whiskey. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> that explains why Damn. my buddy drinks so much. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, we hit it off and uh, and just, you know, we sat there at the bar and, and put this whole festival together and worked really well together. And we've been, you know, doing the same Taking thing since. Uh, we work with musicians, artists. We do festivals, event planning. Mm-hmm. Uh, graphic designing, I mean everything. Anything that really? Has, anything? Anything creative? So, what can they find you at? Like, mm-hmm. what's your social? I want your social security for real. Hmm? Now, Joe, what's your yeah. social media? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, speaking of Super Bowl, what do y'all have going on this Sunday? Up well, there this like weekend, that? yeah, this weekend we actually, uh, well, starting off, I'll, I'll, I'll throw this plug in there. Uh, Friday and Saturday, we're gonna have our humble cook-off after party, which oh, we yeah. always do. Uh, okay. Friday night we got DJ Gabe. Uh, Saturday night Corey Green and Michael Bowen will be playing, both really? nine to one. Yeah, and then Sunday starting at noon we're gonna have crawfish. It's gonna be our first day. That'll be a every day or every Sunday event. If it gets busier, we're gonna do Saturdays as well. Uh, Casey, huh? What? It's starting at what night at twelve? I have to be your. Backup. Oh no, we changed that. I gave you the wrong yeah. flyer. That's, I, that's my bad. It's now 1 o'clock. It's 12 It's now 1 o'clock. No, just mainly because uh, w- to pick up the crawfish, we got to go across town. By the time we get back, purge it, do all that stuff. We're, so we're looking close to 1 o'clock, noon to 1. Oh, okay. come, at no- come at noon anyways. Come at noon. I make an awesome Bloody Mary. We, you know, what? Start off with that. Uh, what? Bloody Mary? You make Bloody Marys? No. I just said oh. that. I'm trying to get... More viewers. That's all. Oh, okay. no, I'm just kidding. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> but uh, but anyways, we're gonna do that. And like I said, uh, we got Casey Bowen uh, playing from 12:30 to 4:30s from the band Downfall 2012. Oh, yeah. So we'll have that going on. And then uh, the owners of the bar, Pit Maker, they'll be coming in. They're gonna do like their barbecue tacos, brisket, pulled oh, pork. Okay. Yeah. I and uh, as soon as Casey's done, then we're gonna get into Super Bowl mode. You know what I mean? Yeah. Got a bunch of drink specials. Uh, more than likely, we'll probably. I'll it's probably it's, it's an all day thing. Halftime, maybe. Uber. Yes. Yeah. Uber there, Uber back. I can drive, y'all. Yeah. Drink responsibly. Yeah. Right on. Yeah, oh, yeah. I, I, I mean, I, yeah. Lim- I no, cannot I say know. that enough. Celebrate. My birthday's on Tuesday. What? So. How you gonna be turning 21? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, <laughs> but <laughs> normally, my, my birthday's eat, uh, has been on the Super Bowls. Sunday, obviously. Home no party. birthday, Tuesday fifth. That's my nephew and Happy legend will be birthday. four months Thank on you. February fifth. What? Okay. Little legend. So we have to do something special for Kamisha. Yeah, we're gonna we're we'll gonna see. do something. So what else is going on? Getting old. Part, uh, what was that? What? Oh. Word. Anyway, um. Y'all done, I done lost my fucking track of mine. Well, anyway, oh, I'll you, take you, over. You, yeah, you don't know what. I'm taking it sober. Oh, All right, okay. no, I'm just. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay, you like okay that? You master. Like, you like the yeah, control. master. Whoa, don't go no, there. Just Whoa. <laughs> that's, that's easy. <laughs> I'm like, what? One more second for walking off this show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, okay, this I'm joking. Not what we do but, over uh, here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you joking. understand, fans, we I, do play a lot I up love, here. I love, I love, I love Jason. It's just love, no, like it's no. Oh, no, oh, he's putting out a glass? Oh, okay. Hey, throw, Look, me, Jake, throw me one of those, Jake. Jake. Give, give me that. I thought it was a lot of, a lot of <laughs> going on. I thought you put out a Glock <laughs> over there. I told uh, you not to touch him. <laughs> me I'm and Jake saying. got a great St. Patty's Day party yes. planned for everybody. Uh, we're doing it this Saturday, Saint which Panties. is the day before St. Patty's. Uh, <laughs> it's actually a dope it's a flyer. March 16th. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, Who Jake, did it? Jake designed it. What? I had a, Shout I, out to Jake. I had a part in a little bit. I did all the. <laughs> he painted it. 
Yeah. What? He painted that? He did. He did. Okay. Yes, With his actual, bare two hands? No, it's the actual so, painting. I and mean, then he dropped and then it he, in the yeah. Photoshop and did Oh, added that art institution. Our okay. Our headliner this year yeah. is the Dead Rabbits. <laughs> we got Trainwreck, Downfall 2012. What? We got DJ Big Mix from Swisher House going to be there. <gasps> really? Yeah. I'm going. We got a Leprechaun. We got Shot Girls from a uh, local strip club. Food, crawfish. Are you going to have, gonna have yeah, Vivid Vibes be. signature drink? I'm, a, I'm gonna have all kinds of good stuff planned okay. for you. Tons of giveaways. What? Stop down. It's a five dollar cover all day. Again. Oh, I have to pay to get in. Huh? Not you. Oh, okay. Just make it show. Oh. How you like that, Jake? Oh. No. Oh. <laughs> well, damn. Wow. No. <laughs> the goblin just got grown. <laughs> right. <laughs> Sorry. What, what, what? Oh. Was that? All, all right, Mike. All right, Mike. <laughs> 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 Shout out to Magic Mike. He's for awesome. Real. Nice. He, he's amazing <laughs> back there. So, what, what's our topic for today, Chanel? Oh, it's persistence. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Yeah, <laughs> goddamn consistence. <laughs> that, oh, it's not. I mean, now I'm joking. Yeah, we just joking. Goes together. It yeah. does, in a sense. No, oh. persistence. In what way? In every way. So keep going oh, no. and going okay, so like the example, energy bunny uh, we for have. For example, that yeah, give me a good example because I asked you what the hell it meant. I should explain this earlier, but you weren't listening. Um, so, for example, what persistence is? I'm pronouncing it wrong. No, I'm not gonna break the entire definition down, but it's just basically saying for this month we actually went over insecurities, um, Shit. inspiration, and I can't. What was the last, last week? week? I cannot remember for the sake of me. Goals. Oh, goals. Goals. So yeah. what happens is you really try to effectively attack whatever issue it is or mission that you're trying to c- accomplish. That's mm-hmm. what it means. Hmm. To, like, no matter what you go through, no matter what gets in your way, you constantly aiming for that goal. Mm-hmm. So it's like, for instance, your, whatever your inspiration is or whoever inspires you, you're feeding off of that energy to build towards who you want to become. Mm-hmm. As far as insecurities, you're fighting your way out of something that you are, you know, that's affecting you daily to where if you don't want to get out of bed, you don't want to clean, whatever the case may be, you use that energy to build yourself up out of that. Mm-hmm. So it goes back to like when we had the conversation about people setting goals. Like if you're going to set them, you have to be persistent. Mm-hmm. Not consistency. It's this. It's in a way. Your, it's your the persistence same thing, needs to be consistent. Joking. So, yeah. for example, there you go. For example, yeah. Jason, <laughs> working at a bar. Yeah, that's where he's at now. But his ultimate goal would be something else. So he's working his way towards that, but he's doing it effectively. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like through the trials, tribulations, whatever you're going through, you're still building up to that point. Yes, sir. Preach. I'm not preaching. I'm breaking it down. You just asked me. <laughs> oh, I'm listening. I'm listening, big bro. Like, what we doing right now, this is very precision to me. I'm saying it right. Consistent. I'm going to say very consistent because it sounds better to me. Would you? Do you have a story? Um, funny thing. Matter of fact, I said I was going to tell this story in the car. We off track because shit's going everywhere today. <laughs> so, y'all, don't, you don't know who Jason is, do you? Yeah, I know No, him. before the toy drop. Remember when we first started Vivi Bob? Yes. Way back when we was recording. And back it was this one guy days. that was like, You got three baby daddies, you a hoe. <gasps> you lying. What? <laughs> what? Oh my God, Jason. That's Jason. I Jason. Jason. Remember? Bring it up. Bring it up. <laughs> I do. I can't oh. bring it up, Jason. Not, no, no. First of all, it was like I had just, we, I had just came on Vivi Bob, right? Oh and everybody was watching it, and we were exchanging <laughs> stories. And he was like, <laughs> "In a, but this is why I said I know Jason. I'm not I saying it was a that female. Said no, that. I was like, no, I know what to do. It dude was her is. name was Jennifer Kersey. It's a cut of my mind. She's a bitch. <laughs> oh dang! What a way to get out of I it. I cut her up. Right? I cut her up. I what swear, a way to jump I out of it. I swear, I no, thought Jason it was actually a, no. The reason uh, the look, joke look, is that, but in actuality, it just goes to show like. 
support. He supported me from mm-hmm. the day back one. In the so hot I'm day. I've yeah. been trying to get here for... And that room was hot has. for a year. Right. And he, the fact that Jake... Persistence. Exactly. Yes. He, Persistence. He constantly was like, yeah. dude, when you going to bring me on the show? Dude, when you going to bring me on the show? Dude, when you going to bring me on the show? Dude, I, like, I just caught somebody at home. Jake dude, got, bring me on the show. Jake asked once and he got on. Jake did not ask oh, once. Oh, oh he, he just drunk, brought him he on. Drunk, what are we doing that? Oh, he's throwing man. Me under the he bus. threw me under the bus. He but I told you I was before you. we got here. I said, he I'll save the jab. That was that Jake had my phone that day when he... Mm-hmm. Um, it wasn't in a bad way. We no, were talking it about, it like... It wasn't. It was the topic at the time. But, but that's, that's who Jason is. Damn. That brought back some good ad memories right there. Because we was like... Who said? I thought it was a female. They were so upset. I was laughing. I was like, who? Who, it was. <laughs> who I was you like, a hoe? I have a very, 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 very <laughs> dark, vague sense of humor. <laughs> you do. I do. That's why I, I said, said we, when he said it, it was a joke. <laughs> yeah. It, it was a joke. But it wasn't against you. It was just against I got you. three baby daddies. It, uh, it was true. Well, that's good then. You ain't a hoe. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, well, nine, <laughs> not going. That wasn't good. Nine, not three babies. This is. But what? But um, Misha, before I go into my story, yeah, please go into yours. Yeah, What's your precision? Like far left. But <laughs> but I am a hoe. Continue. What? No, I'm not hey, okay. Misha, take over, please, right Just now. Per- persistence. <laughs> I mean, for me, like especially with being in the military, like I, there have been times that I wanted to quit. I was like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. But I kept going and saying, I know I can. So that's for me, mine. But yeah, it was the military. Really? Mm-hmm. You want to give up in the military? Oh, yeah. Definitely. I heard the military it's is so easy. hard. Like, no, Navy it's not. Wise. It's mm-hmm. not. You know, I'm dating a Navy vet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> something a little bit something about me and I'll I'm I'm pretty transparent but I I deal with major depression. And so that's something that has been a struggle. So for me it's been like trying to be persistent on okay, I need to get myself out there. I need to do this, I need to do that. Yeah, I'm being transparent. I, yeah. I know I'm shocking Dale right now. What? <laughs> <laughs> he was like, no, I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> but, oh, but. My sister's growing. It's beautiful. Yes. I love yes, it. I see it, too. <laughs> you got to relate to that story. You said you're dating a Navy? N- yeah. What happened? Uh, yeah, you did. He's a veteran. I'm single in your eyes right now. Mm-hmm. But in reality, <laughs> <laughs> in reality, I am dating a Navy SEAL. Not Navy SEAL, a Navy vet. <laughs> And um, he go through the same thing. He go through the same thing. I see it, you know. It's mm-hmm. hard on him. Mm-hmm. And But he just keep pushing, pushing, pushing for the family. <coughs> what about you, Dale? Yes. What about you, Jason? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It, <laughs> I was choking. You know, I moved down here probably eight years ago. I moved down here with a female that I was uh, <laughs> engaged to. Got all the way down here, yeah. Got oh all, shit, I forgot about that. I got all the way down here and it didn't work out. I moved everything down here for Did, her. For her. For for her. Now now look, to be honest with you, it, no lots. And me. when we went separate, <laughs> <laughs> relax. When we went separate ways, now I hated her to death. I, but now I praise that woman because oh. eight years later, where I'm at down here, I mean. She she saved me. She she brought me down here and mm-hmm. I started over and I, I'm a lot further here than I would back in Pittsburgh. Put it that way, you know. Uh, we decided to go separate ways. Uh, I was actually living in a guy's uh, fishing cabin <laughs> up on a lake with like a hundred dollars in my pocket. Mm. Then, but I I made a goal that eventually I was gonna get down into Houston, have a nice place. Mm-hmm. And do what I love, which is music and art and stuff like that. And I'm still, I'm still getting there. I'm moving closer. You know, I've, uh, I moved from like Point Blank. I got to Cleveland. Now I'm in Humble. You know, my next step's probably uh, East Downtown. But you know, I'm gonna get there. I surround myself with positive people mm-hmm. and uh, a lot of business owners. Uh, you know, 
all positive stuff and and and, and that that's my persistence I, I keep going i've hit my lows i've gave up a couple times but mm-hmm. It, it didn't last long. We hit rock bottom, and mm. I jumped back on a boat, and I'm like, nah, that, you ain't doing that again. Yeah. So just keep I going. F- right? I feel what you're coming from because in, in, in this show, I want to give up so many times. Mm. Even last week, I wanted to say, fuck it. I'm not even coming next week. That's how I felt, you know? But I look at it, I say, you know what? I came a long way from one house. <laughs> One host to two hosts to a bro to new friends. You know, it's like, hey. Me. <laughs> to a new boo. <laughs> but sometimes I just feel like I want to wake up and like, all my hard work, I just want to just, <laughs> just say, hey, I wash my hands. You know what? Mm. Fuck it. I'm so done. That's but what, that's, I get so, t- after having a baby, then life my personal life and the show it does get all tied up in the head i just like i just want to walk away from everything sometimes mm. i feel like walking away from being a mother sometimes mm. you know because like so much going on and mm. people don't understand that everything happened so fast for me mm-hmm. i had to learn how to be a mother right away i had to learn you know my mom have cancer so i had to learn how to be a, a quick support on you know mm-hmm. her had to learn to be a spouse had to learn to be a host all over again it was just so much going on mm-hmm. but this show do keep me going mm-hmm. i had to wake up one day and be like hey i have to keep going for the show for mm-hmm. myself really because this is like my my open mm-hmm. mic it's your baby this is my baby open mic it's definitely it's your baby i could really come on the show and really be myself versus mm-hmm. have to go and be myself. Let me try to be somebody else to other people. You know? Mm-hmm. So you. you can still be persistent towards your goal and step yeah. aside for a second and take a breath. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sometimes I just need you to know just, what I mean? Woo. Just not too long. You see, I almost as long had to as do that goal move. As long as that goal's still right there. <laughs> you know? and yeah, I mean, but mm-hmm. every once in a while you need a breath. You need a mm-hmm. break. You do. Mm. Not from the show, though. Uh-huh. You better be here next week. I know, girl. <laughs> <laughs> It's I'm probably not going to be welcome back. <laughs> you could be welcome back. I don't <laughs> care. Dale. What's going on? That's a, y'all guys dropped some gems tonight. Mm-hmm. So I don't I don't know. I'm proud of y'all. I got a, I'm what? shocked. What? I'm in shock. Y'all you must have been proud of us, nigga. What's wrong with you? Oh, right. And, mm-hmm. and she drops the ball. So, <laughs> <laughs> um... No, like <laughs> seriously. Uh, to listen to y'all stories, I don't can't think of one like right off the top of my. Head. Well, okay, we use college. I guess that was my. Nigga, you cheated out for me. Mm, yeah, okay. That's <laughs> why he went last. <laughs> oh. <I> finished. <laughs> you gonna cheat out for me again? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, Tom Brady. That exactly. Ain't Tom Brady is. Oh man. <laughs> Old ass. But no, I mean, I think college <laughs> probably would have been one of mine. It's, I didn't see the point at the while. And then with me having kids, I feel like my kids were way more important than finishing that. Mm-hmm. And then you start realizing that a lot of people around me kind of, I wouldn't, I don't like using the word look up to me. It's just kind of like I inspire a lot of people. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like if they see me quit or like get frustrated, it mm-hmm. makes them kind of like lose hope in certain things. Mm-hmm. And I think these last, maybe from November to now, a lot of my friends have changed. Like, of course, me and you've gotten a lot Extremely close. Extremely close. Yeah. Okay, Extremely close. We, no. I'm, uh, I mean, we kicked it off right yeah. now, but now I mean, But it's, it's like, it's a lot, yeah. a lot of my relationships are a lot deeper and they're a lot closer. You and I, me and me, Jake, Toy, Monique, it, it's the, the list goes on. Uh, like, a lot of the people that I named kind of lean on me in a way. Not in a bad way. It's just kind of like I don't really show the emotional break or the depression mm-hmm. or the anxiety. or I don't seem like I act like I don't have it. It's just kind of like one of those things like I've been there. So each story you guys dropped is kind of like, oh, okay, you never did this, whatever. So going back to you saying, you know, you want it 
to quit the show last week to actually rebuttal that you are the reason why this show still goes on you have to understand that that when you went when you left to go have legend and to be a mother and a spouse i told you then when you came back came back too early but while being away i pushed like that was my my whole persist being persistent it was i'm gonna get this shit done for her and then i turned around and started to be like damn i love this shit too like it became oh, my love baby it. whatever it you became my quick baby. every week i'm walking out i'm walking so out. even to jason's point where you get through those points where you break down mm-hmm. and i've been at the bottom like i'm not one of the guys that just show oh he has money whatever the case may be i've been to that point where i had nothing mm-hmm. but you know luckily i have these my, my children man i really feel like without any of them mm-hmm. probably wouldn't be no deal it wouldn't be no del p wouldn't be no king dale would be no del Drake, whatever the fuck you want to call me <laughs> those kids literally keep me here mm-hmm. like Aww. period so the depression that you felt the not trying to figure out you know you trying to figure out who you are title wise and trying to be all of these different names for people and with him even like jumping up and leaving i've done that like four times i've lived in clean i lived in canada i, I left and lived in philly like i've done it so what happens is like when i turn around and hear these stories and like like i said a couple like four or five people I leave their names out of it, but they're literally all going through something, mm-hmm. and it's deeper than my shit. Mm-hmm. And they come to me, and it's like, man, look, I break down about this, whatever the case may be, and I'm like, I'm able to put my emotions to the side to be there for you guys, and I appreciate y'all. You guys don't don't take it as when you call me two, three o'clock in the morning, or you texting me these paragraphs. It's not a p- booty call. Yeah, it, it ain't mm-hmm. no booty call. <laughs> it's literally like. I'm answering <laughs> my shit, you know, mm-hmm. no matter what the time is. Yeah. Or the crazy thing is I can always pick up on energy where I'm going to hit you and be like, hey, what's wrong? What's really mm-hmm. good? Like, what's going it on? It wasn't right? you. I've done it with all of y'all mm-hmm. in this room. Yeah, where I, hey, come talk to me. What's right. up? What are we doing? So it's, mm-hmm. it's being persistent. But the key to that is literally like, you know, finding the right people around you Mm -hmm. putting the right people around you to keep yourself from going back to that point so like say for instance i don't know uh whatever habit you had at one point if you got to a point where you started rebuilding yourself and you realize the people around you have changed mark that day Mm -hmm. like this is when this happened but then mark and pay attention that hey this is my point that I'm not going back to this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's how you keep yourself being persistent in life where it's like whatever it is, if you, you break into alcohol, like the constant, the shit we call love, the, the you know, trying to find your identity, the mm-hmm. letting go of your past, all these things, you're able to let them go when you start putting the right people around you. Mm-hmm. It's okay to lean on another person. I think we, mm-hmm. we're missing that shit. Yeah. It's, it's cool. Pride. Yeah, it's our like, pride. Yeah. We're like, I don't no, you're, you're, yeah, you're. It, it's mm-hmm. it's okay. Myonda, my own the, the uh, die. No, I'm saying, but it it is like I'm like I said this year alone. I'm literally coming out to where it's like, hey, it's okay to hurt and lean on somebody, mm-hmm. but lean on them with the intent of I'm not leaning on you to give you my negative energy and go another mm-hmm. direction. I'm leaning on you. Because I need you. Yeah. Because it's people out here, I'm telling these last four months, have fucked me up because I have friends that I'm like, I ain't even know it's people out here like this. Mm -hmm. Like, I literally just learned about anxiety, depression, Mm -hmm. the, what is the word, when a woman has a child and then it's like. Postpone. Postpone. I'm learning about this Mm -hmm. shit. And it's like, it's a reality check. Like, when I kind of like, you know how people joke with me and be like, yo, you you think you got it figured out? Hell no. Like these last four months have been vicious. But you got a good shell, you know. You got that shield that but nobody can't see. But I can't see shield. through you. But it's not mm-hmm. a shield. It's who I was. This is me. Mm-hmm. This is me. I'm that guy that 
you get I'll, to a point where you you learn yeah. how to hold things in. You learn how but to deal when, with it in a certain way. But when you hold way. things in, it's gonna come out the wrong way. That very you're true. gonna very blow true. up at the wrong person the wrong way. But see, mm. It's not our. That's when you're gonna need Jesus. Cause the day you blow up on me, I'm gonna just gonna nah. blow up mm. on but you I physically. <laughs> Real Here's quick. The thing. Jamari said, you know, how do you lean on somebody when you're the one everybody Le- leans on? Thank you. How? That's how? A, that's that's yeah, a that's dope deep. ass question. How? Mm-hmm. How? We're time to answer that though. So. Yeah, so we're going <laughs> <laughs> to. No, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We'll I'm talk kidding. to you after the show. No, I'm kidding. I'm right. kidding. The no, after the show. You know that's that's a fact. Thinker, man. Yeah. We will. Uh, matter of fact, it's hard to we'll show. Answer, I'll answer that on the after show because we kind of like short mm-hmm. on time. So I will get to that answer mm-hmm. after. But, um,. Back to that, like, you just have to um, not be afraid to be judged. And Mm -hmm. what I love, and I think me and Jake were talking about this last night, is we're in a time where people are starting to be held accountable for their actions. Mm -hmm. And this is the perfect time to, if you have depression or you have anxiety or you have postpartum depression or you have this suicide thoughts, now is the time to open up and start talking about it because mm-hmm. now when you come out and be like, well, I have this depression. Depression literally comes from childhood. Yes. It's, it's an overall built up thing that goes on through you, your life to the point where mm-hmm. sometimes you got to look at the people around you like, what are you here for? Mm-hmm. Like me, I always, I grew up, I'm not going I grew up around death, but a lot of people pass away in my life. Right. I always lost someone, mm-hmm. always. You know, since I was little, my dad passed when I was four. Then the following year, my uncle, my mm-hmm. grandma. Ten years later, I had a brother. Before my dad died, my other brother was murdered. Mm. So it was always death around me. Yeah. You know? So you had to learn to, at an early age to to deal with. Yes. But it caused you not to care. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Like, you, just, you, know what I mean? you don't it have no feelings. You don't always think somebody's going to be like, fuck mm-hmm. you. You're not going to be there. You're right. gonna die anyway. Yeah. Right. If, if I I look at Legend now and tell him I'm sorry because I gave you life and you one day you gonna have to lose your life. You know, mm, I apologize. Like I'm sorry deep. for bringing you into this world to one day have to leave this world. Mm. You know, and you don't know when that time gonna end. But the way you mm. affect that, the way you attack that, since you brought that up mm. with this thing we call death, mm. make your mark. Mm-hmm. When I, I know if if I leave tomorrow, mm-hmm. I've impacted a lot of people. Mm-hmm. And I know that if me not being here, when you decide to go do that one thing that I got on you about, my voice is going to come in your head and be like, you know what? If he was here, he'll, he'll get on my ass about that. Mm-hmm. So you have to make your mark. And with you, in the sense that you, <laughs> like I tell you, Figure out who you, the the way you beat depression, anxiety, the title mechanism, the all these things, all these labels mm-hmm. that we have. Mm-hmm. Once you figure out who you are and who you love in the inside, exactly, and where you want to be, mm-hmm. it makes life that much easier. Yes, it does. But in order to do that, I tell people this all the time, and. I'll stop now and then come back to it at the end because it's like I got time. And we always do this thing, Jason, where everyone closes out with a quote. Mm-hmm. So you didn't we'll tell me this. No, no, I didn't. Man. So we got you so some seconds go, to think about. Yeah, you got time to think about it. Mm-hmm. But Mish will go first, Chanel, then right. Jake. Jason. We doing it right now? Then me. Yeah. We'll close. I want to make an announcement. Go ahead. The announcement mm-hmm. will be hey, make sure y'all share. Like this video tonight, mm-hmm. and if you miss it tonight, hey, make sure you catch our YouTube videos on yeah. Vivid Vibe. Yeah, okay, <laughs> Misha, <Okay>. go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> um, for me, it's stand for something or you'll fall for anything. Jacob, I don't have a quote. Oh, shit. Oh, you, <laughs> but no, I'm just gonna put like he said that gangster. <laughs> Fuck that quote. <laughs> That's how no, but it. I'll leave you mm-hmm. with, with this. Just uh, surround yourself with positive influence, positive mm-hmm. people. Oh, man. That's what Keep a tight saying. circle. Uh, you know, it, okay. keep negativity out of your life. Mm. Be, I'm there, a, be there for everyone. 
I was gonna say the same, almost the same thing. I was gonna say surround yourself with tacos and not negative people. <laughs> love tacos. I you know everybody loves like tacos. tacos. And this like tacos. goes for we could consider ourselves family, but we need to focus. You could also focus on your internal family and your out your mm-hmm. external family, but fighting for your family. Sometimes mm-hmm. you gotta put the you know hang your gloves up mm-hmm. and fight with your heart. Mm-hmm. Read the shirt, That's how you boo. Fight for a family. Very nice. And this is Vivi Vibe. We love y'all. Peace, see y'all love next is week. so Vivi Vibe. Thank you. Coming Thank you guys here. for Peace having me. Thank chicken you grease. for coming. Appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah.